We're here at the Warner Brothers Archives to take a closer look at some of the costumes designed by Jenny Beaven for Mad Max Fury Road. The costumes that you see before you here are the Organic Mechanic and Splendid, two of the main characters for Mad Max Fury Road. Now the whole design of these costumes was that everything had to have a purpose. It had to come from something of use, very utilitarian. So this very crude Organic Mechanic that you see, he's got what would be normally used as an ammunition belt. But instead of bullets, he puts his tools in there. I think it would be safe to say we would never want surgery done by this man. Standing on his left, you see Splendid, one of the wives that's captured by Immortan Joe. She's held in captivity for many, many, many years. So when she finally escapes, she's incredibly ill-equipped for the elements. The costumes that you see the wives wear were largely based on a ballet that George Miller had seen in Germany. Very light, very feathery, almost kind of looks like bandages to really stress the fact that they are out of their element our heroes, Mad Max himself and Furiosa. Now, the costume that Mad Max wore was largely based on the costumes that Mel Gibson wore in the original Mad Max films. They even pay tribute with the football pad that you see on his right shoulder. But there are also suggestions as to what the world is like that you see in Max's costume. The stitching is to suggest that maybe he had to piece together what he had. He's doing everything that he can to survive. He's even wearing a paracord on his right wrist, a survival bracelet all the way down to his knee brace on the left knee to suggest that he had seen some things in his past. To the left of him, Furiosa. Now, if you've seen this movie, you know that Furiosa has a mechanical arm. And again, in the vein of everything having a purpose and it's all used, even what they kind of make her corset out of belts is designed to help keep her mechanical arm functioning. The people eater and the bullet farmer. Clan leaders, though they still work for Immortan Joe. Now, just by looking at these costumes, you start to get a feel for who these people are, their status, and that's kind of the whole point of the costume itself. Costumes in general are designed to be visual shorthand for the viewer, so that just by looking at them, you're already starting to get a feel for who these people are. Now, again, Mad Max Fury Road is post-apocalyptic. It's the desert. People are ill. So if you look at the people eater, he's got a very, very ornate nose covering to cover a mangled nose. And if you see on his right leg, he suffers from elephantitis, so even the right pant leg has to be bigger to accommodate him. The bullet farmer is a sharpshooter. You take one look at this costume, and it is covered in bullet shell casings. So again, just by looking at him, you know that this is a clan leader, and he's obviously good with a gun. These Oscar-winning costumes are now available for you to see up close and personal as part of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood.